How you going? Welcome back to Valheim. My name is Brendan and today we are going to be building a end game workshop and blacksmith. Now, if you've been following along with the videos, you'll know that we have been on an absolute building crusade. We built this gorgeous, massive harbor. We also built the ultimate production area. I mean, anything that you would need to smelt or refine, you can do it all here. We also built arguably probably the prettiest thing that I've ever built which is this gorgeous stone, like Ashland stone portal hub. Like, love the build. It looks really cool. It looks, it looks a bit Gondorian from like, you know, Lord of the Rings. We also have a bunch of other builds that we've done in previous videos that you can go back and watch if you want. Now, the problem that I'm having at the moment is that now that we're progressing towards the end game, I'm kind of running, like, the castle's just getting a bit full. I'll show you what I mean. So in the courtyard, we have, you know, this temporary Ashlands portal, which will, I mean, that'll, that'll go once we beat the last boss. But in here, we have a bunch of temp, like, you know, short, short range portals, portal hub, the tavern. This one's over to, I actually don't know where this one goes. What the hell's the fort? Oh, right. That's for future videos. I forgot that was there. <laughs> um, but yeah, in here, it's just kind of chock a block, you know? We've we've got this uh, black forge, we've got the artisan table, the normal forge, the workbench. Over here is the, the what's it called again? The uh, Galda table. So it's, it takes up a lot of room. Like it's just kind of, it's just messy, it's cluttered. So I want to declutter this and move all of this out into its own. Um, I guess you want to, I guess you could call it like a dedicated workspace, which is going to be right there, obviously. So I'm going to clear up this uh, cramped little castle. I remember when this thing felt too big, now it feels too small. Uh, so I'm going to do it right in these two sections. So, actually, hang on. Seriously, Paul, we need to talk about this, man. So the first section here is going to be forge black, like the actual blacksmith component. So like forge, like all the forges. And then over here will be the workbench and the artisan table. So it's kind of like an engineer area. So it's going to be two, two separate buildings, but both serving a similar function. Now you may be wondering, why am I not utilizing this land space right here? Well, I have a plan for this land space as well as the water that's right here. The water here is actually quite deep uh, and is like the perfect amount of space for me to be able to store a pet sea serpent that I may or may not get next video. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, but I want to build here. I'm going to build here. Um, so I'm gonna get started. First things first, I need to put down the platform. Uh, now I'm kind of going for like same thing, like same same style as the portal hub. I kind of want to keep going with that trend. The portal hub, the harbor, like beautiful. So I've already pre-stacked. I've pre-farmed, you know, these chests to be full of grouse and wood tar, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it should uh, should be good. Um, I'm gonna go and sleep, and then we'll start this in the morning. All right, it's the morning. It's time to get started. I hope the music's not too loud. Uh, all right, so it's the morning and it is time to get started. I'm actually really glad. So you can't really tell, but I spent like I spent a while planting all these trees. Uh, and I wanted to kind of stop things from spawning like in and around my buildings. So what I did was hide crafting tables up in the actual trees themselves, which you can't really oh, I fell in the water. You can't really notice them, which is good the trees kind of 
hide them. It has a double useful effect because it gives me extra, you know, building coverage, which is nice. But yeah, it, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to stop things from spawning. I don't know, we'll see. Um, steal this ball because I know he's going to annoy me. Get out of here, bro. All right, so first things first. I mean, everything's pretty level, but I just need to clear out some of the grass. Otherwise, I'm going to poke through. And tidy up the paths afterwards. Okay, uh, it's not a perfect square, so it's actually kind of like a little bit, uh, I don't know, off tilt. But I'm going to build here nonetheless because good spot. Oh. Let's get five on it. Pretty big. Ah, damn it. All right, not to worry. Fix that up. That there. That can go there. Oh, I need more grass then. There we go. That is one platform done. I just need to pick where I want to put the stairs up to it, but that should do it. I uh, raised it up one level because I actually didn't realize that I had it too low. I wanted it uh, too high. Reason being is so that things can't just walk into it. Like, I, actually, I don't know. Can things... I don't trust it. Because Greater Wars might be able to. Uh, see, I can sprint over it. So, yeah. Too high should... Hopefully keep anything like, you know, like if a raid happens or whatever should hopefully keep things out. So what's this? Oh, cool. Um, all right. So that's that platform done. This will be the work workbench and the artisan table. This is the workshop. This one. Now I need to do the blacksmith. Actually, I should repair. All right. So I'm, I'm thoroughly prepared this time. I have everything nice and close. All right, uh, same deal. It needs to clear out the grass from here so that I can figure out where the platform will go. There we go. Now I get to actually do the platform again. Make sure there's enough room. All right, so it's going to go there. I don't want to just do like a square platform like that one is. Actually... Oh, that's fine. I actually want to do something a little bit different. In that, I want to make it like an L. I should probably clear out that one. There you go. Uh, yeah, I don't want it to just be like... Just like a platform. Like a platform is just boring. So I want to have it like give it a bit of shape. Maybe we can put a tree in it or whatever. So I'm going to make this an L. So I'll probably go for too deep. Duh. Yeah, two deep scenes, all right. Now that should be enough space for me how to do the workshop. Uh, but now in here, I can actually have like a tree or something. I don't know what I'll do. Probably actually, an I might do an oak actually. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab an acorn, put that down. Is it? Is it gonna get in the way? Nah, it'll be fun. All right, I'll go get an acorn and put down some tree, uh, the oak. Hopefully that's okay there. I guess we'll see. There's one thing like that does bug me in this game is the goddamn grass. Like it pokes through the floor sometimes. I wish you could like, I don't know, like when you're doing grass, I wish you could kind of wear it rather than just it being like a general assumption of where it's going to fill in. I wish you could like actually change it from like a circle to a square or whatever. And it actually was quite accurate to it so that you can shape it. Um, you know, to the space that you're working in. Probably the only thing I wish that, you know, was a little different. 
All right, cool. The oak tree is down because it's going to take a while to grow. So I'll put the barrier around the side for these. And then from there, I can actually work on where the entrances will be and start working on the, you know, walls, roof, all that kind of stuff. God, I love this game. I mean, look at, look, look, look at what we've like done here. Like randomly just picked a small little island. Well, it's not really that small, but like randomly picked an island and just made it into a massive base. I'm gonna miss this game when it's finished. I have some stuff like planned for when it's done, like some cool stuff. It'll be, it'll be fun. I think it'll be entertaining, but probably gonna be an enshrouded play. Probably will be an enshrouded playthrough. There we go, in our future. All right. That is the walls done. I just quickly slept through the night. Uh, I need to figure out where I want entrances to be. I think there'll be three on this one. One like up there, one there, and then like leading into the courtyard. And there'll probably be two. Uh, no, I won't be able to do two. Oh, actually, I probably could do two, to be honest. I just... I just might not, I don't know. Um, one of them, however, will be there. The other I was going to do there, but I think that'll just be a little bit too cramped. Do I maybe put a second one here? Does that look funny? Not like funny haha, -ha, like funny weird. Like funny me, you know? Um, it's not, you know what? It's not terrible. I just hear a boar try and hit my bow punch. I did. Look, man, we gotta talk about this. Okay, I'm gonna make, yeah, I'm gonna make two work. I want two, I'm gonna make two work. So, what I'm gonna wanna do is... Oh, that was actually a bit easier than I thought to... Okay. That's what we're going to do. There you go. All right. Two entrances done. Uh, let me just fill that up. Okay. Now I want at least three for this side. Uh, one will be here, which I'll just, uh, do I make it a double? I don't really want to make it a double, but I'm OCD. Go. Cool. I'll put like stone paths leading into them as well, just to make it a little bit easier. You still healthy? Yeah, you still healthy. All right. So we've got our four entrances. I should go get some charred wood and do the, uh, stairs just so it's done nah actually no i'll deal with that later um all right let's start on the workbench question is how do i want to build it so i should put that there first put that there that there so definitely going to be utilizing the arch doors God, these arches are cool. Okay, that is now done. Let's see how I can do this. Uh, is it gonna look weird? Okay, that is that done. Now, should I, do I, do I, not really anything pointy, is there? That would have been expensive to build with, jeez. Okay, that is now done. I can now do, oh, not that. I can now do this. Put those in all the corners.
All right, so that is that done. I've kind of put down some like, like a general idea on where the stairs are going. I just realized that's actually in the wrong spot. So. There. What the hell? Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I can't. I can't use the outro. That's gonna be too big. All right. Okie dokie. So this side, it's what, uh, like like the width is fine. I can use arched roofs for this. This one, because it's uh, free, I'm gonna have to use like straight roof, like uh, like so. Um, I'm gonna do the other one first though. I feel like, uh, I don't know, I just feel like I'm missing things. Like there's no way that's, oops, there's no way that is all of the roofs. Cause like the other ones, oh. The other ones only have like two more extra, so. I don't know. I don't like grass and roofs. They suck. I'm changing this. I'm changing this. I'm changing this. I actually, I'm actually really not liking this at all. I'm going to get rid of all the pillars and the roof and the beams because it just looks weird. It doesn't look right. I feel like they need to put more work into this, like these roofs. I'm going to get rid of them. I'll swap to the skinnier pillars and then I'll probably go for the shingle roofs. At the very least, like, there's plenty to pick from, so I'm gonna uh, do that because I'm not happy with how this is looking. Like, it's just, I don't know, it just doesn't look right. It doesn't look clean. I don't think I'm going to do much building. I don't think I'm going to do any building with grass and roof. Not unless they change it because it just doesn't look right. I don't know, there might be a mod that fixes it, but I don't like it. I'm changing it. All right, that's a little better because now it won't look so weird when I put one of those roofs on. It's just like the the right height, you know. It's a shame about the grouse and it just it just doesn't look right. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I'm look. If you guys have done a build with the grouse and especially the grouse and roof and it, it's it's come out good. Join the Discord. It's in the description. I want to see a photo. I want to see what you guys have done with gra the grass and roof. Cause I, I, I like I, I, I tried around with it. Like I toyed around with it. Like I'll, I'll probably edit out me playing around trying to figure out how I can make it work. I just, I just can't. At least not on this. I can't make it work. I reckon on a castle I could probably make it work. No worries. But something like this. Like it need, I feel like it needs to be like a really simple structure, a really simple roof. Like it needs to be very symmetrical. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just my personal opinion. That's all. Um, now I have managed to put uh, all the, uh, whatever they're called. I can't really remember what they're called. I've managed to put them everywhere. Now, if you're wondering how I've managed to, how I've managed to do that, uh, it was helped along by the uh, iron bars, iron beams, the uh, wood iron beam. There you go. Um, if you haven't watched the Harbour video, uh, basically what I do, and it works the same way with the Grassland as well, is that you can, you see how it like just vanishes? So you can snap it inside and it, you can kind of see it through the stone, but it's not, it's not overly noticeable. There you go, it's a better way of looking at it. You can kind of see it poking out, but when the roof's on all that kind of stuff, you're not really going to notice it, so it's fine. But that's a way that you can kind of extend the, you know, amount that you can have. Not that I'm going to leave it this way. I'm going to put in arches and all that kind of stuff to make it look a bit nicer, but that's the job. All right. So I need to figure out how I want to die. Oh, no, I'm going to do the roof first. I'll do the roof first. All right. The roof. So this one is done anyway 
I've done the uh, framework for the next one. I always like doing the framework first before I actually put the roof up. It's a lot. I find it a lot easier to actually do the roof. But the roof for this is done. Sort of. Sort of. What I want to do, which I probably just gave it away by having it up there. But what I want to do is actually put down... a fireplace the question is where can i fit it there you go and then i just need to fill it in slightly but i kind of wanted it uh, integrated in with the floor i guess uh, same deal over here. The... And then... Fireball. Oh, should I have it? Yeah, I'm going to have it a little bit over, actually. I'm going to try and reduce how much light is needed. Oh, grab my wooden grass and fill it up. Okay, so this is now done. I'll do some like, you know, nice little decorative style of the fireplace when I'm completely done, but for now that's good. What I need to do now, however, is the chimney. Okay. I'll need a ladder for this. So now that is all placed, I can actually just do the new part of the roof pretty easily. Right there, there, there. And there, there. Yeah. There you go. a completed chimney all right now all i want to do for this is just a nice little decorative piece there you go. and then leave the sides completely open that is the chimney done and the roof almost finished because the last thing that needs to be done for the roof is the X's. Um, I just, I just really like them to be honest. I just, I think they look neat. Especially when they run like the whole way along the roof and you can put like the, you know, fine furniture piece on either side. Yeah, I like it. I didn't want to like kind of, I wanted to leave like parts of it kind of open. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's good. 
I just need to do the walls now. But first, what I'll do is... Uh, oh, actually, I need to do the stairs. Um, besides the stairs, though, what I'll do is the roof on the other one. Basically the same way I've done this one. So I'll go and get that one done. And then we'll do the walls. Man, I'm getting old. Everything just starts hurting for no reason. Like my knees hurt, my back hurts. Yeah, just getting old, man. All right. Oh, sorry. The roof has been done. Um, so both 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 have been done, like similar-ish design for that kind of stuff, you know. So, oh. yeah. But yeah, anyway, um, similar-ish design for both sides. Kind of a open plan style thing, so it makes it look a little bit nicer and prettier and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then the two fireplaces on the inside. Now, what I want to do for this here, pretty simple and straightforward, uh, because these doors, while it's annoying to work around, they look awesome. So I want to make sure that I actually incorporate these doors because they do look really good. So what I'm thinking is I'll do that, that, that. And then that. And that kind of locks in, you know, the door component. Uh, and I'll do the same thing. God, I'm blind. I literally just did it and I can't. There it is. Um, and I'll do the same thing on either side. I'm literally going to do this for every single door. Uh, but what this allows me to do... is oh I'm dumb alright I'll do that for every single door but what that allows me to do is kind of have like a bit of an open plan oh I'm dumb alright so I'll do this for every single door um what this allows me to do is a bit of like an open plan style open plan not really open plan but it opens up that side and allows in a bit more natural light because i'll have one workbench there and then another over there and maybe like i don't know i'll have another one somewhere um i'll probably have one there and two over here <clears throat> i don't know i'll figure it out but this is kind of what i'm thinking so i'm gonna mimic this on all the doors Okay, they all have their little, I don't want to call this, um, like decorative walls done. Uh, I also did some stuff around like the uh, fireplace just to kind of, just so I stopped walking in it because I'm stupid. Uh, but I need to fill in the rest of the walls because I mean one workbench is going to go there. So that needs to be a wall. And then two are going to go up here. So the end up here needs to actually be walls as well. But I don't want them to be complete walls. So what I'm, what I'm thinking is, yeah, and then yeah, and, and then yeah. Oh, actually, I think I'm gonna do the fine with dividers, all right? mix it up a little bit because I was I was going to use um, the decorative windows but they're all around the fireplace so makes sense to kind of mix it up a little bit and utilize something that hasn't been used yet so yeah I like it do I trim it off I don't want to trim it off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That is that done. Definitely needs a wood trim to kind of break it up with the... Um 
dark wood, but I'll get to that. All right, I want to fill in the rest of the walls and I'm going to have these actual solid panels. Now that should be enough workspace to actually put down all the uh, materials and stuff like that. So happy with that. And then what I'm going to do, that is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay, what I want to do is mirror the opposite side. So there's some form of symmetry between the two. Which I mean, you can't, you can't have it perfectly symmetrical, uh, but there's some form. Oh, damn it. Okay, so there's some form of symmetry between the two. Uh, I'll do that there, that there. And then, ooh, I could put something in there. Should I? Yeah, I will actually. And what I'm gonna put, oh. Yeah, I'll do that actually. Yeah, I like that. That looks no. I don't know. That looks nice. I reckon that looks nice. Yeah. This is the workspace for. Yeah, there's heaps, heaps of room. I, I honestly love the um. What are they again? Shingle roofs. The shingle roof is definitely my favorite roof. Like, you just do so much with it. Hundred percent my favorite roof. All right, so that's that side done. This side's pretty easy because I can just fill in that panel there. And then uh, the same, I'll just do. Figure it out. But yeah, I'll do the same thing on this side. And then I might. What I might do for this side, actually. Another one of them divider windows. Uh, sorry. I need to go grab the fine wood. I'll fill this in. Uh, there we go. Okay, and. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that looks clean. And then the final part is what I'll do is literally just that. Nothing crazy, like super simple. Yeah, just super simple. Just the bottom along there. Which kind of breaks up that texture from the outside. Otherwise, it's just like, I don't know, it's just a lot of the same. Oh, I just ripped. Oh. Okay. Here's something here. Man, I need to sit. I'm getting old. My back hurts. Ready? I'll perform a magic show. It's my, this is my magic trick. Is that for a magic trick? Oh, my back. Thank it all, guys. I don't know why my back hurts as well. I mean, I did train back a few hours ago, so it might be why. There we go. That is this building done. All I need to do is just the inside, which is pretty easy. It's pretty quick to do. I like it. It's not like a generic looking black blacksmith style thing. That's kind of what I was going for at the at first, but then I was like, you know what? 
this it, it, it kind of matches the architecture that I've done with the harbor. It doesn't with the, the tavern or anything like that because it's a completely different material, but it kind of matches it a little bit more. So it's it's nice. Um, I'm going to do the same over here. What I'm thinking I might do actually though is a bit of like a, a balcony. I just think it might be a cool little addition just to have a small balcony here. So I'm going to do that. All right, so this one is now done. I I like a pretty clean uh, balcony, I reckon. A nice little, some lanterns and stuff like that. And, oh, I added a baluster just for fun. Not really any reason. It was just like, you know, why not? Because it'd be fun. Because right here, we'll go the artisan table. So I figured, you know, like artisan table, be working on some projects and stuff like that. So it would make sense that like a baluster would be there. You know, like some of the projects from the um, artisan table. So it's not there for defensive reasons. It's there for looks. But yeah. Um, but I brought over all the uh, materials. I basically just dismantled all the stuff that was over in the cast and I just brought it over here. So... Just making it out. So this is going to be the artisan corner. And then over here is going to be the actual workbench side. Oh, I got the forge over there, actually. Oh, I'll deal with the forge in a sec. So. Put down the log. Oh, that's a forge. Why is it unable? Turning rack. That's fine. Uh, as you there, and then the tools. There we go. Level five. Uh, is that? I don't know if that's max level. Is that max level? I feel like it's max level. Cause it's like it's, it's everything that I can put down: workbench, chopping block, penny rack, adzi, tools. That's everything for the workbench. I'm pretty sure. I'm not tripping. I'm, no, no, I don't think I'm tripping. All right, cool. Uh, that's this one done. I just need to obviously decorate it with like some rugs and stuff like that. But that's pretty much this done okay on to the next one which will be forge and is it only two forge and the black forge it is only two why do i think it was three what a, I, i'm tripping all right cool that makes life a lot easier then uh forge will go over here and then the black forge will go over that side. So, let me kick the air. So what I'll go and do is go and grab all the stuff from the castle and bring it over so I can actually build. Build, build everything. I don't know why I can't English today. I mean, to be fair, I can't really English on the best of days, but yeah, you know, it's all good. All right, so I kind of just brought everything over to the chests so that I can kind of just do it all and go. I don't want to have to keep walking back and forth. So, bellows. We've got the smith's anvil we have a ball going crazy for some reason all right i got a sharpening stone but could be chilling and that is a level seven forge done definitely could be done like a look oh like it could be if 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 I really wanted the hell is a little great. How'd you spawn? If I really wanted to be like aesthetically like pleasing, I could like put like a little half wall and have it. Ah, it's fine. It's the point of it is, bro, just going for a walk. Hang on, I gotta get him off my lawn. Get off my lawn. All right. Um. That was straight disrespect. Uh, yeah, if I wanted to, I could put like a like a half wall and then have it like you know back to front that kind of stuff. But 
Look, in the end, I just kind of want it all in there so that it can be used. Um, yeah, that's good. All right, on to the Blackforge one. Looking hella depressed walking along like this. And then like that. And then there. And then here. And there, uh, cool. The wheat. I like it. All right. I need to just put in some lanterns in certain spots. Some of these ones. So I just kind of give like some final bits of illumination. Same deal for over here. And then, you know, just, just put down some, maybe some banners, but predominantly. I missed a spot. Um, I missed two spots. Maybe some banners, but predominantly what I'm looking to do is actually put down some like rugs and stuff like that to make it a bit prettier. All right, it's just those two spots. Um, yeah, I'll do that. So I'm going to go get the materials for the rugs. Bandles will go outside, actually. I don't know what I'm talking about. Tripping. Um, I'll do rugs and all that kind of stuff inside. So that's just a little bit, you know, it looks a little bit nicer. All right, I have everything that I should need. Uh, no, this would be. Is this red or blue on this side? I can't remember what I was going to do on this side. I'm going to do red this side. I don't know what those boars are screaming about. They're, they're going crazy out there though. All right, there we go. Um. And then the buttons. Yep. What are they what are they going on about? Bro needs to chill out. He needs to settle down, man. Okay. Uh, we have those two. And then let's put up the blue banner over here. It's not. Yeah. Okay, let's get that in. Oh god. All right, it's going to take a little while. I'm going to get this perfect and then we'll do the uh, lens. I like it. Okay. That's that one done. I'll I'll, I'll do I'll do lens. I'm going to do lens like along the path and stuff like that. So that's that's for another time, not right now. I just need to do something in here, but the question is what do I want to do in here? Kinda, I kind of want to go for more for hides for this one rather than shoot, shoot, however it's pronounced. Locks in the middle. We'll go wolf by the workbench. Yeah, I like that. I think we're done. I'm just going to put some lanterns in and we're done. Where if this neck or ball comes at me, I, you know what? Just set my dominance. All right, it's done. Like this is this is the, the build is done. Like I'm literally finished. Got lanterns just kind of scattered around everywhere. There was like a, a bunch of spots out and about that I didn't have any lanterns yet. Put down a couple more seats everywhere. Good if I put it away. 
Uh, insides are all done, so everything's, you know, finished. Same deal for the uh, Black Forge. Oh, that's pretty good. Street out here is all done, which is nice. Looking real good. Keeps going on down there. Inside all done. I haven't actually seen it with like proper light. Oh, actually, I should probably put some more lens in here. I'll do some more lens like in a bit. But uh, yeah, everything in here done as well. Done. Like, literally finished. I'm happy with that. That's awesome. It's been a really cool build. And it's finally utilized this space that, like, I haven't been able to utilize. Uh, check it out from uh, the lighthouse. But while I'm running up there, yeah because it's going to take me a million years to get up there and the roof is broken again because it just keeps breaking but while i'm heading up there if you enjoyed the video and you haven't already make sure that you hit subscribe you know hit the like button drop a comment all that kind of stuff got some sick stuff planned for when the uh actual playthrough is finished so you don't want to miss out so make sure that you actually hit subscribe if you don't want to i mean you know it's all cool it's all good um but yeah thank you very much for hanging around to the very end if you are still watching and I will definitely catch you in the next one. I think next time we are going to be... I think... I would have been dead there. Next time we're going to be building a serpent, sea serpent enclosure. Uh, and I was actually just thinking while I was doing this build, I wonder if I can do... If I can capture... What are like the bone walls or the bones? I can't remember what they're called. Dashland Sea Serpent equivalent. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Can't really see because of the trees. These trees never used to be here. But, cool. I'm very curious to see what it looks like at night. So, I'm going to go do a bit of a walk around. Like, I'm going to wait. And then I'll do a walk around when it's night time. Which you guys will see. But, yeah. As I said, if you are still watching, thank you very much. And I will catch you in the next video. See you later.